Um, hi guys, my name is Daniel and today I'm going to show you the Note Shell app on Android, uh, which I've gotten a lot of requests to do. So I've also made a, a couple of other videos of other note-taking apps, so check out those if you haven't yet. Let's roll. As usual, we'll start by taking a look at the writing experience category with this checklist format. Okay, first up, writing experience. Gonna just write the standard sentence using all the letters in the English alphabet. I think only only good notes. Oh, why am I saying good notes? It's just that it's similar to good notes. Okay, so I think only good. Uh, so I think only note shelf this app, incredible and OneNote are those that actually have a really well. Also bamboo paper, but I haven't reviewed that app yet. Have a really good uh, no uh, handwritten text capturing system. So as you can see, but I can't really zoom in that much. But as you can see, it's really smooth. Let's see. So that's awesome. And I think that app is really going to do well in this system I've made here because this is actually the first app that has a real favorites category, just as OneNote has on uh, Windows. So you can add different highlighters and uh, different thicknesses right here at your disposal. So favorite pens is awesome, right? Like I'm really impressed with uh, the fact that they've done such a good job doing this. Next step would probably to uh, enable an option to make it an integrated part. So make the favorite pen tray an integrated part of the top bar here. Changing color. Changing color is also super easy and you can even edit your colors here and add whatever colors you want. So that's really a lot of freedom, much more freedom. So I would even say like more than awesome. Taking notes with images. So what I love about good notes is how you have an option to actually like it's pretty easy. You can just choose Import from photo, import from camera. In Incredible, you get a lot of options all uh, like right away. So if we were to, let's say, take a picture. Take a picture of something really cool, like an apple. And what's really great with the imaging system in Note Shelf is that you can actually edit it. So like you get an option to edit it. And when we edit this image, look, 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 we can actually choose a cut tool and and get a picture like this. Like none of the other noting apps I've reviewed have, have this function like to edit pictures. So, now we have a beautiful apple here. Taking note with images is awesome. The S Pen button also works flawlessly. Uh, let's say we want to erase the quick part and make it a slow brown fox. Gestures, erasing and changing pa uh, pages. So yeah. Uh, Let's see. So when it comes to erasing, I just showed you how easy it is. And you can even get rid of the highlighter like I just showed you. And uh, to change pages, you just flip to the right or flip to the left. Swipe, I said flip. Well, the page flips when you swipe. <laughs> okay. Gestures, erasing and changing pages would be whoops awesome 
moving text. Let's take a look at the selector tool now. So you don't have a rectangular select tool, but you have this one, which is a lasso tool. It, it works great. But, but I haven't figured out how you rotate the handwritten text. It seems like you can only rotate pictures, but not the handwritten text, with, which is not good. But I, I think they'll fix that if enough people tell them to do that. So moving text is awesome or almost awesome. It would be great with the option to rotate the pictures. Uh, backgrounds. So when it comes to backgrounds, uh, well, this app has a lot of customizability. So you can, let's say, add a new page with a custom template. Or you can even make a custom one here. Or choose free downloads. Oops. And yeah, there's a lot of customizability because you can add custom uh, ones from this no shelf club as it's called so yeah so we can choose this student one and here we have the cornell uh, cornell background so all right keywords here and uh, summary i guess here would be explanation we have the Cornell method. So uh, backgrounds is almost awesome because uh, I haven't figured out how to change ratios. So it's great that the page itself is A4 automatically, but sometimes you need to change that. Sometimes you have to make it, uh, let's say A3 or maybe make it the ratio of the screen because as you all know, the tab S6 is not A4 formed. Annotating PDF. So to, an, to make a PDF, you can either scan a document or just import the document. So I just chose a random PDF book. Let's see how long it takes to import. Yeah, that's it. Uh, how many pages are those? Let me look, look here. And uh, yeah, a really useful function it has is actually that you can bookmark pages. So let's say we would want to bookmark this index as important, I guess. We could go here and look how it's and see how it's bookmarked, right? The, you can even highlight. And it, yeah, it takes a lot of times before the highlighter actually removes the text. Yeah, the text doesn't, the highlighter actually recognizes the text and stays behind the text just as in OneNote. So like, this is great. And uh, it would also be the same with handwritten text. No matter how many times you go like this, the text itself doesn't disappear. That's awesome. Annotating PDF, amazing. The highlighter, as I just showed you, amazing. Layers. Well, as far as I know, we don't have a layers function. No, there's no layers function. But text always goes on top of images, so that's the most important thing when it comes to layers. So I'll give it an OK rating. By the way, a bonus category when it comes to writing experience is that you can actually make audio recordings. So if you're professors, uh, I love you too, make audio recordings, you can easily do that here. And I know Lecture Notes has some kind of uh, audio recording system, but you have to pay like an additional $4 for it. Well, here it's included in the full version. So I love to see that. Next category, user friendliness. Folders, subcategories, and searching. So, you have a main like folder system here. And when you go into 
the folder, you can actually group folders together. So you have the option to make one subfolder. And then you can name that group, I think. Can you? Ah, oh, no, you can't name the groups for some, for some reason. No, Jelf, please enable a function to name a group. It's important, you know, for us students and whoever uses digital note-taking apps. Ugh. But anyway, I would have loved to see the option to add even more subfolders, but the important thing is that you at least can add one. So I'll give you. And um, hmm, when it comes to searching, uh, it has a search button, which Incredible doesn't. So that's great. And I think it can, can even recognize handwritten text. I think, because if you go here and go to handwriting recognition, it actually has all these languages available to download. And I'm not sure, but I think it can actually recogni recognize handwritten text. Uh, and maybe also convert handwriting to text. I don't know. Let's try to convert this dog. No. So on an Apple device, I know it would have appeared like uh, convert to text here, but it doesn't. So I think it's still in the making, maybe. Let's see. So folders, subcategories, and searching. Almost also. Add more sub uh, subcategories, please. Backup. So backup is amazing, I can say straight away. It backs up regularly, automatically. You can choose it to backup to Google Drive or even Dropbox. Well, in Incredible, I've had a lot of problems with backupping, unfortunately. But uh, no shelf seems to handle that well. Cross-platform -plat syncing. So yeah, then again, you can use a blue stack emulator or something like that. Exporting files. So, just like in the other apps I reviewed, you can choose to share all pages, a current page, this page, or uh, choose what pages to uh, share. And that's an important uh, thing. And let's try to just share this page. You can share it as a PDF uh, to, yeah, whatever app you would like to share it to. That's awesome. You can even share um, multiple pages as images. So that's great. Pricing, when it comes to pricing, it's okay, I think. Um, what is it? Uh, there's a lot of inflation going on with the Norwegian currency right now, but in dollars, I think it would be around $4 maybe. And it has all these functions. So I, I think it's a pretty good price compared to like monthly subscriptions so pricing uh, almost awesome the only negative thing i would say is that well incredible at least lets you try the app like without paying for it but here you actually have to pay the full version to, to even try it so well that's at least something i would change if i were them split screen let's see what the split screen experience is like yeah, so you can easily use the app in split screen as well, just as all the other apps. And uh, pop up view, and pop up view works great. You can change the transparency. And uh, well, oh, the app sort of glitches sometimes in split screen. Oh, as you can see, oop, what just happened? Widget supports, there are no widgets. Maybe they'll add one in couple uh, in a future update. Bugs, mm, it's like sometimes, sometimes you'll encounter them. Sometimes when using the selection tool, it sort of glitches out and uh, like uh, warps to another part of the page, but nothing that bad. Dex experience, let's see. And when it comes to Dex experience, I'm naturally also going to talk about what it's like typing on this device. At first I was afraid, I was petrified, kept thinking I could never live. Okay, let's see. So it's really smooth, just as I would say OneNote and maybe Squid is. But of course, 
as you've seen in my OneNote video, I would not recommend OneNote because of all the text shifting going on. Hmm, so let's try to type something here. Whoops, why doesn't it? Oh yeah, you have to double click actually. So, what's going on here? Yeah, there it is. No, shell oh, on the, whoops. Okay, please improve the like keyboard uh, experience or desk experience when it comes to uh, note shell because it, yeah, it's sort of you can see the whole text field, and it's really easy to um, change the font size and change the font itself. How many fonts are there? There are just four fonts, but maybe they'll add some no more. I don't know. And here you can change the color, but you, you only have these 14 colors to choose from. Mm. Hopefully they'll add more. But yeah, it's uh, it, it looks cool. You you can even you can even center it. Make it to the center of the page or like do this. And center it. It will be in the center of the page. Great. So overall, really great. It's easy to scroll. Index mode also. Awesome. I'm really skeptical when you guys invited me to, uh, and requested me to review their note shelves because I wasn't sure like, would it be incredible? I kind of think it just did. I kind of think it just like beat uh, incredible in a lot of these categories and another thing I forgot to tell you about is that the uh, like battery capacity of the app the performance of the app is actually pretty good and if you're wondering how the app works on an Android phone it works just as well and uh, I forgot to mention that the app has a nice like shape recognition shape recognition function and the handwriting is uh, great. Whoops. Let's turn off that. As you can see, it has an interesting function where you can actually change your writing style. So if I choose this for you, uh, for you left hand guys out there, and one thing I forgot to mention is that the app has a nice writing style like editor. I, I really like that. It's they really put heart in there. Like as a bonus bonus category, want to. Like emphasize that they really allow for a lot of customizability. You can change the theme here. Theme here, like if you like pink, you can change the color to pink or orange. And uh, there's a free downloads category. There's really a lot of community in this app. I love it. So leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Check out my other videos if you haven't yet. And uh, well. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, leave a dislike.